What's up, everybody? It's that time again. It's argument time. This was the most requested Eminem album ranking, Slim Shady LP. It won the poll that I did. I just started with Infinite because this one came second. Marshall Mavis LP came third. I thought, why not just do it in order? A lot of people also told me I should do it in order because it was going that way anyway. It's just do Infinite first and then the rest is going to be what you guys want. So... What song are we going to start with on this album? One of Eminem's best albums. We've got Bad Guys Always Die up first. Now, remember, the way that I'm ranking these, S is legendary. I love this song. A is I love this song, but can't quite put it in S. B is I like the song. C is it's all right. Like, don't really care for it, to be honest. All right, that's the way we're going to do it. Bad guys always die. C tier. Don't really care for the song. I've listened to it a few times. It's all right. Don't really care for it. Like, I don't want to go listen to it again. Not really interested. I don't know if you guys agree with that or not, but that's the one. So, Brain Damage. Actually, that's a terrible song. D tier. I'm joking. S tier. Brain Damage for me. Brain Damage. Ever since the day I was born. Drugs, what they used to say I was on. One of the best songs on the album, for sure. I just really like the storytelling in it, the way he approached it, just, just everything about the song. And just, you know, the production on this album, the beat choices, you know, getting Dre involved with the production. Also, a lot of the production was done already before M met Dre, but that's why I feel like Marsha Mavis LP probably takes the cake as Eminem's best album, because... Half, instead of half of it being produced before meeting Dre, it was all produced after meeting Dre. And it just, yeah, it just, you can notice the difference, I guess. It just, it's just perfect Slim Shady, isn't it, really? You know, like, like, my, like, look at you, you're getting blood all over my rug. She beat me over the head with the remote control, opened the hole with my whole brain fell out of my skull. I picked it up and screamed, look, bitch, what have you done? Oh, my God, I'm sorry, son. Shut up, you cunt. I said, fuck it. Took it and stuck it back up in my head, and I sewed it shut and put a couple of screws in my neck. It's just, it's just classic Slim Shady. No more needs to be said. Okay. Up next, we got Bad Meets Evil. This song for me is a B tier. Uh, I like the song. Don't love it. I just like it. It's a good song. I like the song. I don't really ever see myself going and listening to it. Um, and go, oh, you know what? I really, really want to listen to Bad Meets Evil. It just doesn't happen. So up next, As the World Turns. While the world keeps turning round and round. So, I like the song. It's going with Bad Meets Evil. I don't love it. It's a good song. The verses are really dope. The It's funny. The shit he's talking about. There's a lot. It's a wild song. It takes you on a wild journey. I'm Shady. It's also going in B tier. It's the same, same story. I'm Shady. Every time I, I think of that now, I think of the game's disc where he's like, I'm shady. That's where he got it from. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I like the song. It's kind of like I put it in the same category as The World Turns. It's, it's a good song, dope verses and stuff. But when I'm listening to it in context of the album, I don't skip it or anything. I do like it. I But I wouldn't go, oh, I really want to listen to I'm Shady and go specifically search for that song. So that's pretty much it. My name is S tier. Come on now. Legendary. An amazing song. Really fucking catchy hook. Amazing beat. Perfect production for, from, for Eminem. Just fits him so well. Um, you know, the verses, the, the whole song's legendary. Everything he's saying on the verses. Just everything about this, this song is, is S tier to me. Up next, My Fault. I've put that at B. Once again, same kind of story. I like the I like the storytelling of it about, you know, fucking some girl eating shrooms and now she's talking to plants and she's going to die. I don't love the song. Once again, I never meant to give you mushrooms, girl. I never meant to bring you to my world. You know, it's not got the catchiest hook in the world. I just like it just because of the, the content, the concept of the song, the delivery of it. 
yeah, I do like it though. When I'm listening to the album, I I do enjoy the song. I just don't go looking for it. Come on, everybody, is a B tier. Same. Come on, everybody, get down tonight. Come on, everybody, get down tonight. I don't know. I just I don't love the song. I like it. I like the verses. I listen to it in context of the album, and I enjoy it. Yeah, I wouldn't go searching for it. Uh, up next, just don't give a fuck. So, just don't give a fuck. I'm going to put it in A tier. Because I love the song, but I can't quite put it in S tier. Because I don't love it as much as, as a My Name Is or a Brain Damage. And it's not legendary like My Name Is. So, I just can't quite put it there. But I love it. I would listen to that song by itself. Just go looking for it. Up next, Guilty Conscience. Come on now, S tier. Like the concept of the song, the going back and forth of Dre, the skits, just the beat, everything about this song, amazing concept. You know, the angel and the devil on the shoulder. I just love the concept of that song. Everything about that song is S tier. Dre sounds really good on that song. You know, a lot of times, especially nowadays where Dre raps, I just feel like he just doesn't sound like the style of whoever wrote it, it just doesn't sound like Dr. Dre. Like, I feel like Dre shouldn't just be rapping any old shit they give him. Like, they need to write with the right style for it to fit Dre. Um, so I haven't really liked the recent shit that Dre's been doing when he raps. But, you know, the old shit, like Guilty Conscience, perfect. Still Dre, you know, stuff like that. That's the, the type of Dre that I, I think it just really suits when when he does if i had is an a tier once again i love the song i i um just can't quite put it in s tier but you know if i had one wish i would ask for a big enough ass for the whole world to kiss i just like the fact he's talking about his struggles and it's something that you don't hear much from m right because he's been rich longer the you know that we've known him then he has been fucking poor so he hasn't really wrapped that much from the perspective of being poor and being broke and the struggles he was going through and i just like the if i had a magic wand i'd make the world suck my dick without a condom on when i'm on the john if i had a million bucks it wouldn't i just like the the way he approached the song um so yeah i really love that song a lot rock bottom i'm also going to put in a same reason i feel like this song will probably be an s tier for a lot of people uh i assume you guys are gonna are gonna go ham in the comments like what rock bottom's s tier but and i'm ready for it i'm ready for your tier list put your tier list down in the comments i want i'm gonna read every tier list i'm gonna argue with you guys i'm gonna tell you your opinion is trash so you can bring it to me and i'm gonna bring it right back so rock bottom yeah it's um really good song i love it just can't quite put it in s tier 97 bonnie and clyde i actually hate no i don't it's an s tier come on now the concept of this song talking to Haley, and he's killed kim and and the guy and the the step kid or whatever and they're all in the trunk of the car and the way he's telling the story instead of just telling the story he's telling the whole story like he's talking to his kid like the concept is fantastic it's it's a, a brilliant song I, I love it so much s tier it's it's a legendary song i mean i mean just look at the album cover right the album cover is literally for that song 97 bonnie and clyde he's at the 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 pier with a dead body in the fucking trunk ready to throw her in the ocean it, it's just it represents the album as a whole so definitely s tier get you mad a tier love the verses on on um what a wonderful day i should go outside and play ain't no need to sit inside the house and hibernate hi renee i was just about to toss a live grenade in your driveway and drive away like these verses are iconic like if you've heard a lot of eminem freestyles he repurposes this verse in a lot of you know radio freestyles he did and stuff that like, i ripped mystical's voice box out and scream in his ear like the whole uh, uh, a giraffe snap his neck and broke him in half like just just a lot of shit he said was just so fucking dope 
I love those verses so much. I just can't quite put them in S tier, but I really, really love those verses. Okay, up next, we've got Still Don't Give a Fuck. Once again, A tier. I really like Stop in the Limo, Hop in the Window, Shop in the Demo, at Gunpoint. Like the, the rhyme schemes that he had and just the way the beat builds up too, like and it slowly builds up and it builds up and then it drops. I stab you with the sharpest knife I can grab. It's like, he's like, uh, and he's like, it, it builds up to the drop. I just, I just, I love it a lot. I love the song. I love the beat. I love the build up. Last but not least, we've got Role Model. That has to be S tier. Come on. Role Model. Don't you want to grow up to be just like me? Brilliant song. Love the concept. Love the video. It's, you know, one of Eminem's most iconic beats, most iconic songs. Anyway, that is my thoughts on the Slim Shady LP. Love this album. Definitely one of Eminem's best albums. Um, I'm excited to see what you guys say. So leave your tier list in the comments and we'll have a little argument in the comments. So I'll see you guys in the next video next week when we review the Marshall Mavis LP. Peace. Hey. Take shots like man, I got straps down coming for the cross sites. Hit a bullseye, man, I never take a loss sight, never take an L, man, I never let it cross my mind with force like mine. Man, I never let up, I'm a get up when I feel a bit of game, I don't do it for the fame, and I come up for your head top, red dot, bullet going straight for your brain. Come up with a lyrical energy, come straight for the enemy, the one money you can feel like a bullet for Kennedy, and they probably wanna get it, that's cool. People wanna use me, I ain't no fool, cause I've been living my dream from a kid, I did it on my own.